So hi guys, um, I know it's been quite a long time. I seem to do this. I just go long spans of time without any communication with you. So um, if you're still hanging in there with me and you're a subscriber, thank you very much. I do appreciate it. Um, I am in school. I did get myself enrolled in graduate school because I wanted just a deeper understanding of um, of the subject that I have just surrounded myself with for the last 15 years so I just wanted to go a little bit deeper and so I'm in school I love it um, it's just I'm so honored to be there um, I just finished a weekend class um, about the origin of life and it just it's just amazing so um, <clears throat> so I'm I'm still working on my book um, I'm my website's actually coming along quite well. It's been up since January, um, and I've, I'm catching up on my, my blog slowly but surely. <laughs> so I still have an August blog that's still on my computer that I can only write when I'm inspired, so I have to kind of wait for the inspiration to come. So anyhow, that's why I've been missing. So and that on top of other things I've got. I, I work full-time and, and whatnot, so you know, I take care of my mom. So... Um, but I wanted to share really quickly a dream that I had back in July. It was, I can almost tell you exactly what date it was. I think it was July the 11th. It was the night of July 11th. It was a Saturday night going into Sunday the 12th, if those dates are right. Definitely was that Saturday night going into that Sunday night. And I taped it that day or the next day, but I didn't post it to face. I'm sorry, to YouTube because um, I didn't know if that dream was just pertaining to me or if it was for the church at large. Um, so I shared it with my sister and a good friend of mine, and they both think that it might have something to do with the rapture. So I'll just share it really quickly. Um, I dreamt that I was at my church, and I dreamt that it was late in the day. There were not as many people left in the church just a few people were left and there were some people down at the altar and the altar was open the pastor's wife had put out an altar call so people were going down and just getting prayer and I dreamt that I was in the towards the back of the church with my sister and my mom and it's the church that I go to now but it was laid out a little bit differently so there were two like double doors towards the back where we were and there were two towards the front the ones towards the front were closed, but the ones towards the back were open, and you could see the sun shining in brightly, and um, I dreamt that um, it was a nice, sunny, bright, beautiful day, but like I said, it was in the afternoon. It was late in the day, so um, my sister's here, <laughs> so um, so then I dreamt that the, the um, all of a sudden, and we had had an earthquake earlier that day. All of a sudden, I dreamt that the ground started to shake, and um, the whole church building um, turned, and we screamed. And then it turned again on its side, and we screamed again, and the lights went out, and then it turned upside down, and it slid down like this uh, angle into a hole and just fell in there, and then I didn't hear anything else. And the only thing that was left standing was the altar and people that were at the altar. Those were the only ones that survived. And then I dreamt that I saw two young ladies that were in there, and they had escaped, and um, they went and found their cars, and they were like, oh, we made it out. And they started to drive off, but the, the road, the way the road was, it was zigzag, um, kind of, you know, cracked open in a zigzag pat, uh, pattern. So the car kind of slid off to the side, but they were able to drive and make it home okay. And I thought I was going to do the same thing. I, I was so used to, like, when church is over, I just go to my car and I go. But I couldn't find myself. And and my sister and I are going to do a collaboration video when this is done. So, um, But I dreamt that I couldn't find myself. And I, I was looking all that afternoon. And it was the most frustrating thing to not be able to know where I was. and Because I didn't see myself come out of the building once it turned flipped upside down. And so all that afternoon, I had been looking for myself. It sounds weird. But finally that night, I found my car, and it was still parked in this little cul-de-sac where I had left it. And I could see my things inside, and it was the most frustrating th thing to not be able to get in there and to just drive home. 
And I remember looking at the back of my cart and it had damage. It had been kind of pushed in, like cr crunched in. And then I dreamt that I was able to move it with my bare hand, like nudge the whole car forward like a toy. Just kind of picked it up and nudged it forward twice. But for some reason in the dream, the dream I knew I wasn't going to need my car to get around anymore. And so then right after that, I saw a gentleman from my church, one of the musicians, and I went over to him and I was like, oh, finally I found somebody. And I told him what had happened. I had been looking for myself all that afternoon. And then I dreamt that um, he was telling me, now you see something about I should, should, should have drawn closer to the Lord, but I didn't know what he was talking about because I was walking as closely with the Lord as I possibly could. And so while he was telling me that, all of a sudden I looked up in the night sky and I saw this white light twirl and another light twirled and joined it. And then two orange lights, the same thing, twirled and joined it. And it formed like a circle in the sky. And um, it was a circle of light. And then it came and stood directly over where I was and shone down on me. And I was in the center of that circular light. And then I dreamt that um, all of a sudden my body started to be drawn up like... Um, like lifted up off the ground and as I was being lifted my body was changed and the best way I can describe it is that I looked like a hologram and um, it was like I was transparent it was still me but I was a transparent form of me and then I dreamt that um, the man I was looking at the man like do you see what's going on and and then I started to go up and up and he was like swinging his arm he was like wait a minute I was supposed to go too what happened I was supposed to go too and then I saw other people scrambling like, like what in the world's going on? And then I dreamt that I got so high up and it was almost like to the level of the bottom of, there were the clouds, clouds had gathered, like storm clouds had gathered and I got to the bottom of where the clouds were. And then um, I dreamt that I looked down and I saw those people um, scrambling. And then, I'm trying to think. Oh, and then um, I dreamt that as soon as I got to that level where the clouds was, um, a pillar of fire came straight from the clouds and came straight down and hit the earth and then I woke up. So I, I, I didn't know if that dream meant that I was going to die in an earthquake. I was, I was so shaken up for just the longest time after that. Um, and I, then, you know, it sounded like it could have been the rapture because my body was, I think I may have actually seen the translation of the body what will happen when our bodies are changed. Um, but I was trying to find a picture. Wait, let's see. A picture of that. And then I'll cut this video off because I don't want it to be too long. Um, but let's see here. Okay. So this is, hopefully you can see it. This is what my body looked like. It was, you can't see it as well because of the glare, but this is kind of like what that circular light looked like. And Okay, what happened here? Okay, this is the other one. So it looks something like that, and again, this is what the body looked like. It was like a hologram image of myself so anyhow um yeah I just seems like I did have one other dream about the rapture but I can't think about it at the moment so anyhow I'm going to cut it off here but I just wanted to kind of touch bases with you guys and thank you for hanging in there I am on um, Periscope so that's why um, I've kind of been a little bit more involved with that than I've been with anything else any other type of social media so Anyhow, um, God bless you guys. I hope you're hanging in there. I hope you are um, walking as close to the Lord as you possibly can because time is short. Um, it could be years from now. We don't know, but I'm not taking any chances. I'm walking as close to the Lord as I possibly can. I keep my eye on the news and current events because all the more we should be looking up because the day is approaching. So anyhow, thank you guys for watching. I hope you're doing well. Thank you to any new subscribers that have joined on. And uh, God bless you all, and I hope to talk to you soon. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.